And the five are lights about to go out here for WO Console Tier 2. And it is lights out. And away we go. And FLT Harvey gets a fantastic start. Finn Bob and AGK racing alongside him. But it's Harvey that leads down into the right hand return of one. Out uh, of the RB even of AGK tries to get up the inside now of Finn Bob. Coming through the left hand of turn number two. Now through the left hand again of turn number three. Finn Bob, Nick, Nam all in behind. Simplebox, Max Von the Geese in behind as well. Man like Nam dropping down the field. It's like contact, I think, with Man like coming through the left hand of turn number four. Harvey the lead from AGK in second. Then it's Finn Bob in third. Nick there in fourth. Max Von the Geese in fifth. Simplebox in sixth. They all cascade their way through turn seven. Fine. As it stands, Harvey leads the way, AGK in second, Finn Bob there currently in third. Everyone's on a set of hard compound tires, Bar Schumacher on a set of mediums, myself, James Head, and Domizzi alongside me in the commentary box. I know we're not streaming this live, but great start by Harvey. Yeah, a very, very good start for the FRT man. Uh, AGK Racing also doing pretty well moving up one place. But unfortunately for Nam, losing quite a fair bit, moving all the way down to 18 after the incident. In turn three, or something like that, I believe. But yeah, Harvey leading the way, going into turn number uh, 14, sorry. Um, yeah, but he's under close attack from AGK and Fimble. We can see a bit of action behind with the Ferraris and the Alpine as well. I think that's Schumacher and Karumi involved in that little battle in behind. But as you've mentioned, Hard for a lot of the grids and mediums for Schumacher 1 being the only one to do so. ESB Roberts and Man Like also battling in the background as Harvey takes fast slap, but is of course only the first lap of this race. Man Like still stays ahead of Roberts going into the second lap of this race. Definitely so. Everyone like us getting away through the left hander now of turn number three. It looks okay right now in terms of the stream end, that is for sure. Hopefully everything is okay right now but it is harvey that leads the way agk in second finball there currently in third position dyson is way very late on the brakes there schumacher to the inside line on a set of medium compound of tires making pretty much a typical schumacher move i think there for the left hand return number five gets the job done he has got left side end plate damage i believe on the car as well yes he does he's got left side end plate damage on the car so he is going to try and find his way through the corners but the ferrari man with that damage has got the move done up into sixth position simba box seven seventh Karumi there currently in 8th position, Harvey leads the way, AGK in 2nd, Fimbob there currently in 3rd, but with Schumacher having that damage, that is going to cause him a big amount of a loss of time, potentially later on in this race, but he looks good now, coming to the right hand of 13. Yeah, definitely, especially with front wing damage being such a big effect on your performance, especially on this game, you can see it's just staying behind, but Finbob and AGK racing also Battling in the background, AGK trying to hold on as much as possible. Goes slightly wide here and loses the position to Kicks out here. Now he's going to be trying to fight down the raging Harvey, who is currently leading the race, and uh, he's looking pretty good for it as well. He's getting a very good start and also qualifying on pole position by I think a whole tenth and a half. There's Karumi who set the fastest lap here, but. Finn Bob had a little bit of, of an incident with Nick and AGK there. As Nick moves up to third place and AGK is trying to take that position straight back from the McLaren. But Finn Bob works really well in this way because he can build up that gap ahead of AGK races and Nick. And Schumacher very late on the brakes and behind force of Max Von the Geese wide and nearly colliding there. AGK and Nick right ahead of him. Schumacher tries to go all the way around the outside through turn number seven, but the McLaren tries to hang on in there on the inside line. Nick there remains in fourth. Schumacher there into fifth. Max Von the Geese there force that wide. Coming through turn number five. Schumacher there four through and into fifth. Harvey Bill leading the way by six tenths of a second. Finn Bob there in second. AGK there in third. Nick there in fourth. Then Schumacher in fifth. Then it's Max Von the Geese, Karumi, Simbavox, Manlike, and then Bobbitt's run off the top ten. Typical Nail Griol, and then Minotaur, Trey, and then Chris LB top 15. Samuel Barker, and Nam, and then Carlitos. who had damage early on. He's came in the pit lane on that set of medium compound tires out on track as Nick tries to set his sights. On the back of Schumacher, Harvey, though, was absolutely gone up the road. He is eight tons clear, running down and toward the right hand of 14. Karumi, though, on the back of Max von der Geese. Schumacher on the back of Nick. Very late, breaking move there by Karumi, former EXT man. Now part of the TTM setup, gets the job done through, and he's in two, sixth position. As I think Max von der Geese, has he got damage as well? No, uh, that's just my eyesight playing up. I thought he had left side and played damage, but he hasn't. He's there in seventh, and he's trying to fight on the back of Karumi once again, in toward the right hand of one. 
Yeah, definitely. Max van der Geest also trying to, as you said, move up the positions. We could see Nick and Karumi slightly battling as well, but side by side between Max van der Geest and Simbrox. Simbrox, we got things to the outside line going to turn three, but does not make it work. Max van der Geest stays in seventh place, and as you mentioned earlier, Harvey trying to build up that gap as much as possible with that gap going from eight tenths per second to now just under four tenths per second. As Finn Bob is chasing down and is cutting down that time corner by corner. Schumacher has also moved up all the way to fourth place on those medium tyres. But for, as you mentioned earlier, he has got left end plate damage. So uh, definitely harm his race come the long term. But it's definitely. Uh, but for for now, it is Harvey who is in first place, followed by Finn Bob and AGK Racing rounding out your top three. Yeah, definitely so. Harvey Bill leading the way, Finn Bob in second, AGK there in third, Schumacher on that sort of medium compound tyres, looking very quick, 70% of ERS that he's got on the car, energy recovery system of course, in operation as per all F1 tracks of course on sim, uh, on F1 sim racing. Karumi though sets his sights on the fellow Frenchman and Nick looks to the right hand side now, in towards 10 14, Schumacher very early on the brakes, a little bit of lag contact there I think, between Schumacher and Karumi, Karumi comes out nearly on top, Nick gets the switchback back, through into the left hand return 15, Jumped on for him, he's doing his interfit. Karumi there in sixth, Max von der Geis there in seventh. But uh, pulling out of the toe there is Schumacher, maybe trying to cool the tyres, maybe trying to cool the brakes down as well. In towards turn one as Max von der Geis tries to go all the way around the outside on Karumi. Through the right hand and now two, tries to hang on in there, doesn't. Karumi remains in sixth, Max von der Geis there in seventh. But tries you must. Yeah, definitely. Finn Bob as well, still in second place, trying to, as I've said on the lap previous trying to cut down that gap on Harvey but it's still behind Max van der Geis and Karumi also battling there. A little bit of contact between two drivers but Karumi's got the inside line which will turn into the outside line come the next corner which means Max van der Geis takes the place after Karumi. Goes a little bit wide but Karumi's trying to make the switch back work. Max van der Geis locks up but it's still Max van der Geis who is leading that little battle but that have lost them quite a lot of time to the drivers ahead. Now six tenths between him and Nick ahead, but now going on to this DRS straight. You see Nam's closed that gap really, really well after being involved in a few unfortunate incidents towards the start of this race. Now going into the DRS straight. Positions will change as this is a very good overtaking spot for many drivers. The Schumacher is definitely opting for it. On EGK moving to the inside here. Does he get moved on from the exit? Yes, he does. He is ahead, but a little bit of contact between the two. As ADK and Schumacher are still battling, Schumacher takes third place and it means that is that Ferrari on the podium now. But we can see Harvey going all the way to the outside trying to defend from Finn Bob here as the Triar takes the fastest up of the 34.3 for the Williams. Yeah, definitely. So Schumacher there under pressure from Finn Bob. Finn Bob there in second. Schumacher in third. All doing really well, I've got to say. At this point in time, as Bobbitt makes a move further down the field, Schumacher eyeing up a move to the inside line. Into all the right hander now of turn number five. Absolutely on the brakes. Finn Bob, though, gets the switch back. Coming out of the corner, so the hard compound and tyres will definitely be coming in play at this point in time. Finbob there remaining in third and behind, Schumacher there in second. Finbob just out of the dirty air, flinging it right, flinging it left there now through the right hand of turn number eight to try and just get out of that dirty air, try and get some sort of traction coming out of the corner. And in the end, in P3, on the back of Schumacher, Schumacher though making a very good ground. Speaking of good ground, Nick to the inside line on ATK. Tries to get the job done to the inside line, into the right hander now of turns number 11 and 12, and now through the right hander of 13. Harvey leads the way, Schumacher second, Finbob there in third on lap 6 of 28. Absolute hell for that, the race, and Samuel Barker, not sure if we picked up on this, has came in the pit lane to go on to a set of medium compound tyres as well. Most positions gained early on, Schumacher up 10 positions, maybe looking for 11. Too wide in the background though, Karumi and on the geese side by side, trying to go around the outside now. Is Karumi to try and hold off the bat, hold off the threat even of Max von der Geese, but they're now side by side into the left under 16. But Karumi there in sixth, Max von der Geese in seventh remain as they are. The more they fight though, the more they could be threatened of falling down a DRS range. Yeah, definitely. Bobbitz also takes fastest up with 34.157, but Schumacher in second place, and as you said, moving up 10 positions. But although he's got slight bumbling damage, is not harming his race. Moved up quite a fair boot. See AGK Racing and Nick also battling 
pushing Nick slightly onto the grass, but it's no problem for him as he takes the position away from Major Terry. So he's on the outside now. Is he going to try and get the moves done? Slightly pushed off the track, uses as much of the space as possible. Schumacher and Finbob also fighting on ahead. Schumacher keeps the position ahead of Finbob, but still very, very close between the two drops. Does Can Finbob try and make a move going into the next couple of corners? He cannot. Schumacher stays ahead. In that second place, those medium tyres look to be doing really, really, really good for the Ferrari man. He's definitely going to be trying to chase down Car. He's goes slightly wide here, but still fine as he's now going into the DR straight and going to try and make the move on Harvey coming into the straight. And Nick also looking on the back of Finbob, maybe for P3 as well. Simba box going through on Max von der Geese. Max von der Geese now fighting back side by side down the straight in toward the right hand of 14 once again. The hairpin now beckoning for these drivers. Schumacher on the back of Harvey, not going to get the move done this time around. Max von der Geese tries to hang it. All the way around the outside on Simba Rocks. Let Bobbitts to the inside line there. Can the Ferrari pull alongside into the left under 15? Tries to, not quite, but he might get the switchback coming out the final corner. Great switchback though by Finn Bob on the back of Schumacher. Schumacher on the back of Harvey. All fighting for this DRS range, all fighting for the part of the track where really nobody can overtake. And Finn Bob tries to make a move. On the part of the track that you can't overtake. On the outside line now. Coming through the left under turn number three. Now through the left under four. Very tight to contact there between Schumacher and Finbob. Bit of lag kicking in there with ATK. And Karumi in behind as well. But Harvey leads the way. Schumacher in second. Finbob there in third. Karumi goes all the way around the outside on the RB. And the Alpine tries to hang it on in there on the outside line. Bit of a squirm. Bit of a squirrel there from ATK. Let's Karumi through. Karumi through and he's into fifth. Nice battle that. Yeah, very, very close fighting between the two drivers. Very excited. See how the rest of the season pans out with these battles. It's still Harvey who's in the way. He's showing very, very good pace. But of course, with the DR straights, it is very hard to build a substantial gap, in this, especially with how closely matched uh, all these drivers are. Nick as well is trying to make the move up as well as Karumi is slightly behind Nick trying to make the move as well. Going in, into turn 14, I believe this is. Can we see any moves being done now that DRS is open for the entirety of the first train? We can see a bit of side by side action as the Aston Martin of Simbro moves to the inside of AGK and gets the move done on AGK, which is a very, very good move. Can he make another move? Going into the first corner, we have to wait and see. But it's still, it's side by side with the Mercedes and the Alpine in the background. I think that, is that Mercedes and Alpine? I can't can't really see from back here we can see loads of battling in the background as well typical moving up ahead of man like and bobberts as well it's still side by side with man like and minotaur trying to make, move up into 11th place still side by side between both drivers now going into the sector one split who will be who prevail from that still side by side going into turn four who will prevail it will still be side by side but man like has got the inside line and does take it away from uh, more Minotaur, Samuel Barker does take fast snap as well on those medium tyres. So doing really well with those mediums boxing much earlier than everybody else as the pit window will probably open within the next five laps or so. Yeah, definitely so. Minotaur, by the way, looking get definitely getting the bull's horns out right now. I've got to be honest, on the back of man, like trying to get the move done on both him and typical. In the end, didn't. And then in the end, stays there in P11, P12 Minotaur as well. Nick on the back of Pinball once again, coming out of the straight, now running down the straight in towards the right hand, return number 14. Harvey leading the way, Schumacher in second, Nick on the back of Finbob, closing, closing. Can the Frenchman go for the inside line? No, Finbob goes for the inside line, Schumacher. Schumacher didn't even see that coming. And Finbob gets moved on, surely into second. Schumacher fights back though, on the outside line. Not gonna go for the move around there, my sonny Jim. Finbob there in second. Schumacher in third, getting pushed around there by Nick through the final corner. Karumi run on the back of these guys as well. And because of the lack of ERS speed that Nick has got, Karumi flies past him, saunters past him, down and towards turn one, tries to go all the way around the outside on Finn Bob. Schumacher and Finn Bob now fighting side by side. Through the right hand of two, now through the left hand of turn number three. Harvey beginning to get away as a result of this battle. Schumacher back up the inside line. Those mediums not falling off the cliff just yet.
right, Finpol there in third, Karumi there in fourth. My god, these guys know how to battle, and my god, Nick to the inside line, tries to look on the back of Karumi, doesn't get the move done. Harvey leads the way, though, Schumacher in second, Finpol there in third position. Brilliant, brilliant racing throughout the field. Yeah, very good racing, especially in turn one there. Very clean and very respectful on the limit racing, which is what we love to see here at WR, but it does mean that Harvey has built up a little bit of a gap here, which might hurt of the race as well, as he has led every single lap so far, if I'm not mistaken. We can see some of the battles in the background as well as the gaps are very minuscule between the entirety of the top four team here. It's a very, very long train now going into the DRS straight here now most the biggest overtake opportunity we've seen on this entire race track as we can see Simbrox moves up ahead of Nick Ooh. see a bit of debris flying Karumi. in the background as Finbob spins and that promotes Karumi up into third place but Simbrox also capitalizes on that and moves up to fourth Nick and Finbob also fighting Finbob starting off the track but stays ahead of Nick as he is definitely trying to fight back to regain some of those positions that he lost but Karumi has really prevailed from that incident there as he moves up to the podium positions as Simbox is trying to fight back and get the podium away from the brand new TTM side. Yeah I was on board with Karumi by the way with that contact just went too late almost it looked like Finbob looked to try and cover him off Karumi was just too late on the brakes right on and played damage on the car and unfortunately for him he's there in P3 Finbob as a result spun down in P5 right now, and now the two RBs are going to go side by side. Goodness me, AGK and Max von Geese side by side, man like a typical side by side as well. They swap positions, 10th and 11th position, respectively for them. Beautiful helicopter cameras right on board now with Max von Geese on the back of AGK, trying to push his own teammate coming through the corners. To the left hander now of turn number 9 and 10, then into the left hander of turn number 11. Nick again on the back of Finbob, looks to get the move done, does get the move done. The McLaren through and he's into fifth. Finbob there in sixth, trying to fight the car. Oh, very aggressively on the outside curb has a big snap of oversteer same with AGK right in the background of shot as well these drivers really on the tender hook edge of their control of their car Harvey leading the way though Schumacher in seconds Karumi there in third Simba rocks there in fourth Simba on the back though of Karumi not going to get the move done this time around as Max von Geese again looks on the back of AGK doesn't get the move done further down the field pit stops though beckoning i'm sure for the front guys out on track schumacher with that damage still continuing on still looking pretty good i've got to say in second position karumi now with damage there in third you would think because of the damage that has got uh, from the guys ahead harvey would be the one to capitalize as well as simberbox who haven't got any damage yeah absolutely harvey's still leading the way of course but schumacher on those mediums those mediums definitely have worn off so i think the hard will be far down but as you said earlier, that front wing damage, I'm not sure if Schumacher will box onto a new front wing, especially as how much pace he has been showing with the broken front wing, but he was sure to box in the next couple of lap laps, I would assume. As also, we can see gaps closing quite a fair bit. Finbob and Nick only separated by two tenths of a second, and Simbrox and Nick as well separated by only two tenths as Nick. Now right on the back of uh, Simbrox and Karumi. Will Simbrox try to make a move? No, he stays behind going into this next series of corners. Nick is also trying to pick up the scraps from Ooh, those uh, from those two battling as, as Simbrox tries making a move on Karumi. And I think he has made it stick as he stays ahead of Karumi going into this DRS straight. But will Karumi be trying to fight that? As Finbob is definitely trying to fight in the background. See AGK and Max Lundgeese also battling. Uh, not side by side going into this one. Yeah, Shoot. very, very good racing as well. I'll put the front. Yeah, Schumacher bails into the pit lane. He made a huge mistake coming to the left hander there at 14. Got completely locked up on the front. And now Nick sets his sights on Karumi, who made a mistake himself going in through the right hander at turn number 12. This race is absolutely helpful. Have the match for the geese around the outside of AGK. AGK, though, tries to hang it to the inside line through turn number 2. RBs do not want to make contact. Goodness me, they will be getting cash grab rather than cash up right now for P6 and 7. Bobbitt's on the back there of AGK. Trying and now fight both of them. The Team Jazoo man looking in behind on the TF10 man and the AMS man who tries to go all the way around the outside. Does AGK, man who has appeared in EML this season, again 
comes a man who's in PSGL, PSF1 and Max on the keys. And Max on the keys gets the move done into sync. AGK in seven, Bobbitt's there in eight. Demizzi's water bottle going flying there across his room, I'm sure. Harvey leads the way. Simbabox in second, Karumi in third as Kalitos is the first retirement out of this race and has left the session. So Kalitos out of the race. Harvey leads the way, Simbarox in second, 1-2 right now, looking good for them, and they're nearly dropping Karumi outside of a second, and in fact they have dropped Karumi outside of a second. Yeah, as, as he's fighting with Nick going into this long straight, well, apologies for my iPad falling off my desk, uh, but <laughs> still Nick opting for the inside line, going ahead of Karumi, as he does take the, take the move, as Karumi's lost a lot of positions through that, as, as he got... Has he managed to... What's the word? I can't think of the word. He didn't manage to get the DRS on that uh, lap as ESB Roberts as well. Now ghosting between Karumi and Roberts, but I think that's sorted itself out. And, ooh, there's still a lot of ghosting there. But it's Roberts who's leading that little train there. As Nam takes a three-second penalty in the background, but that's sorted itself out. We see three wides in that MVP. AJK and Karumi going into third corner here. And it's still both B cards who will be fighting, but it is AGK who will prevail so far. But Max Van der Geese is holding on slightly now, but opting for the outside line, which will still be the outside line going for this next corner. He's <laughs> just about holding on, goes very wide as man like and uh, typical. And Karumi loses a couple of positions in the background there. It's been disaster for him so far, but AGK prevails from that little battle there as Bobbert tries to decrease that gap to get back into the DRS. Uh, the RS range of Finn Bob ahead. And at the halfway stage, you'd probably think this is more lap 28 out of 28. It is Harvey that leads the way. Simbabox in second, Nick in third, Finn Bob fourth, then Bob at AGK, Max on the geese, man like, more minotaur and typical ran off the top 10. Probably won't remain in that order for long. Nail and then uh, Karumi, Trey, Nam, who've all not yet, uh, who've all not yet even came into the pit lane. Schumacher, Samuel Barker, Chris RB have. They've got into a set of medium compound tyres. Samuel Barker will have to pit again. Schumacher will def definitely get to the end of the race on that set of hard compound tyres out on track. Myself, James Head, Demizzi alongside me in the comment box. Dom, of course, doing the console tier 2 comms alongside Harvey, who is going to be back next week. Harvey makes a mistake, though, speaking of which nearly loses the car coming out and through the final corner. Simbabox there in second, Nick there in third. Swear that wasn't a, a, a thing from Harvey to another Harvey, but Harvey made a huge mistake coming out through the left hand return number 16. Just about got, got the car back going in the right place. And then Simbabox just stays in behind. So the Aston Martins want to right now. Looking good for them and the constructors at this moment in time as Karumi has came in finally bailing from that front wing damage and Bailey now into the pit lane, medium compound tyres are on. Whether or not they'll get to the end, though, Dom, is a different thing. I think they will, especially as there's only, if my maths is cracked, only about six, 14, 13 laps left to go in this race. Yep. So those minions will definitely make it to the end. As we saw, um, what's his name? As we saw Schumacher extend those mediums all the way to lap 13. So definitely possible and he showed really good pace well so as you said the both Aston Martins won two currently so it's looking very good for the Constructors Championship between the two of them but Roberts is caught, caught back into the DRS but AGK might not get it on this lap as he's being chased down by Max van der Geese both v Carb teammates will definitely be trying to prevail as much as possible and try and get a few points back to the fighting Aston Martins but we could see I would assume some of the drivers will now be heading into the pit lane to get off those old hard tyres. But still ADK who is ahead of Max van der Geese. But ESB Bobberts and Finbob Ooh. moving a little bit as Finbob actually moves into the pit. He does move in the pit lane. I caught him ball with him there. He was very late on the break since the pit lane. I'm not sure if he's got any front wing damage. I don't think he did. But he just ran very wide coming into the entrance of the uh, the pit lane there. As I say, caught that very late, but Finbob into the pit lane. No front wing damage on the car. Medium compound of is now going on the car. And he is going to be going to the end of the race. As Schumacher bangs in the fast lap of the race. And actually, there he is coming on the right hand side of the track there. In towards turn one and is ahead of Finbob. So Schumacher, theoretically, being ahead of Finbob, is probably ahead of Nick, Simbarox and Harvey right now. And it's looking good for him as Samuel Barker there retires into the pit lane. Honestly, a race to forget 
from his perspective, went onto the set of medium compound of tyres, expected something from a safety car, maybe even a VSC out on track, didn't happen for him, didn't happen in qualifying, learning experience for him, I'm sure he'll be back to his strongest bets, I'm sure, in the coming weeks. Of course, console tier 2, but it's a shame, we've lost Carlitos, we've now lost Samuel Barker out of the race as well, but both of the drivers, to be fair, were a little bit down the pack because of contact and because of Sam Barker coming in the pit lane as a result of a bit of an incident further down the field. The Simbarox swaps for the race lead for the Aston Martin, so Simbarox now leads Harvey there in second, which makes me think, Dom, Harvey is in the pit lane this lap. Yeah, I'd assume that as well. Nick will definitely move up to second place, so I wouldn't assume Ooh. the Aston Martin uh, doubles stack, but Nick in the wall there nearly. But manages to save it as Roberts and Nick are both inside of each other going into the pit lane. But Simbrox was actually the one going into the pits, not Harvey. As Harvey inherits the race lead away from his teammate as HK in second place now, a whole five seconds back. So he's definitely lost a lot of time not being in the DRM there. But Neil, Neil Redox is fighting with Mormon at all as well for third place currently. But of course, they're still yet to be the same with the entirety of the top five. Karumi moves into the fastest lap of the 32.8, but it's very close in the background as well as in the provisional race lead is Schumacher um, come the end of this race. He's played the strategy really well going for the undercut here, but can Simbrox, with the fresher tyres, move into the race lead as Harvey is still yet to pit, and I'd assume he is all alone five seconds ahead of everybody else. I'd assume he'd be coming to the pit from the other lap. Yeah, I definitely imagine him to be in to flip play, into the pit lane even indeed out on track. He is there five and a half seconds clear. But you think the gap actually theoretically from gap to leader to Harvey right now, or the gap to Schumacher to Harvey even, 20 and a half seconds. So keep that in your brains, even though this is getting recorded. Keep that in your brains, 20.4 seconds. Schumacher is in behind right now on Harvey. Harvey, though, will be coming in the pit lane. I guarantee you this lap. If he doesn't, he'll be in for set us off compound ties later on. But he is into the pit lane. Doesn't overshoot the pit lane entry. Not sure if pit lane entries are getting, um, uh, are getting done by the steward, potentially. But some of these entries, honestly, making me look like an absolute amateur out on some of these pit lane entries that are happening. <laughs> Trey is uh, continuing on. Simbarox and Finbob are now the net lead of the pack. Schumacher though, will be in the net third, but Harvey, where does he filter out in this pack? I think he's going to be around Nick Manlike, that sort of area, coming out of the pit lane. There goes the Ferrari of Bobbitts, there's Manlike, there it's Matt von der Geese, and he's exactly where I expect them to be. So, Harvey, now, fresh set of medium compound tyres, two lap younger compared to Manlike, one lap younger compared to Bobbitts and Nick ahead of him. Whether or not he can make an impact, though, from this far back is a different thing. He's in a net P7 right now with Trey leading the way. But what can Harvey do to try and get through the field? Because he is on the fresher set of mediums. And there's no guarantee the likes of Finnbob, the likes of Manlike, can actually make those tyres to the end without potentially going beyond 60-70% tyre work. Yeah, definitely. Schumacher has already lost a couple of positions after opting for the undercut strategy. So definitely... Fresher tyres are much quicker in this race as he is on the hard compound side compared to the rest of the packs, fresh mediums. But Harvey, as you mentioned, will definitely need to fight back and he's stuck behind Manlike here, who's currently in seventh position, but will be moving to the inside here, opening the DRS going into turn number 14, I think it is. Yeah, he's he opts for the inside on board with him. Will he get the move done on? Man, like he is substantially ahead and gets the move done on man, like so. Pressure tires are definitely doing much better for the FRT man. If he moves ahead now, now he's gonna have to set his sights onto Robert and Nick. And man, like as well, just picked up on that. He has got damage as well on the left side end plate. In fact, has he got a T try running in towards turn and one? No, left side and plate damage on the car. Not sure if we have picked up that. If we haven't, we have now. Man, like has got damage. On that left side end plate, uh, on that left side, left side end plate, if I can get my words out again, that'd be great. Trey leads the way from uh, Simberbox in second, Finbob there in third. Beautiful helicopter cam coming in toward the right hander now of turn number five. On board with Simberbox, Finbob there in behind, six tenths of a second, and then Schumacher three tenths in behind. So it is building up to an absolute crescendo. There is a big split though happening between Max von der Geese and Typical. 
pretty much within the bottom half of the top 10. There could be that split happening. Harvey Manlike trying to get on the back of Bobbitt as well in this big old train. But Trey leading the way. Simbolox in second. Pin Bob in third. You can tell already those set of hards on board with Trey. Definitely going off the cliff. These mediums coming into play now out on track. Simbarox, Finn Bob all closing in. But there is a threat, I think, here, Dom, where actually Simbarox and Finn Bob can work together. Schumacher's on the set of hards, and it's already beginning to tell because, look, the gap is going increasing. Nearly eight tenths of a second now. Was going to be around about a second, I think. But in the end, the front two just beginning to pull away. The net, or the net leaders of the race just beginning to pull away. As Nick pulls the inside line on the back of Schumacher. Looks up the rear, uh, the rear brake slightly. Schumacher gets a three second penalty for um, corner cutting on the inside curb through 15. But in the end, uh, Nick threw it into fourth. Schumacher there in fifth. Schumacher might have a case for that one. Could argue that Nick put him off. But in the end, Nick got the move. Yeah, absolutely. Schumacher now losing loads but and also picking up a penalty in uh, the meantime as well, moving all the way down to thick place after getting provision P1 after the pit stops. But Triar is still staying outside. I assume he'll be going onto fresh soft tyres. We see how much that gap is increasing. Now it's at 3.8, but I saw a lap at 5.5 seconds. So losing lots of time on those 19 lap -offs. Fair to Sim, who is who is gaining lots of time, but Finn, Bob, and Nick will definitely be trying to fight down to get that provisional P1 away from Simbarox and uh, Finn, Bob. But doing pretty good for this race, the top four. But uh, we see some battling in the background between the Ferrari and Harvey as well. But Schumacher stays ahead of Harvey, and he stays behind him. He's right up oh. Schumacher's rear side. And he opts for the inside line here, going into this nice. straight here. What what a beautiful move for Harvey as he takes P6, but he has got fresher tyres than the drivers ahead. So can he make a few more moves up? Finbob moves up ahead of Simbox. Can Nick capitalise on that as well? No, he stays just behind, but right up the backside of Simbarox. Can he make the move going into turn one? Or can Bobbitt's try and decrease that gap? And same with Harvey as well, trying to decrease that gap as much as possible as he's still a contender for the win here. <laughs> Nick and Bobberts also fighting going into turn one as Bobberts makes the move into turn one here. There's nice. two side by side going into the second corner here. But it's Bobberts who prevails from that one as Nick has to settle for fifth position. And look who is going to be getting caught as well within this pack. Trey is now 1.7 seconds clear of these guys. These guys are coming like a freight train on the back of the Williams right now and at this moment in time the Czech driver better get out of the way because otherwise there is going to be a monumental Constantino effect causing between the front nine drivers here out on track trade there potentially to go on a set of soft compound tires he can defend the position to however he's content and of course it is in the rules and regulations but he does still have to come in the pit lane now though Finn Bob is within DRS range eight tenths of a second in behind on Trey Everyone now in line of stone, they can see they're catching. It's just whether or not all things begin to kick off, because Finbob is so much quicker. Coming now through the right hand of four, to, uh, the right hand of even a 13, now running down in towards turn number 14. Finbob sets his sights. He wants this done immediately out on track, and he's going to get it done immediately because he absolutely saunters past Trey as if he's not even there. Finbob into the race lead. Trey there in second. Simba rocks there in third. The BRT man. Hits the front for the first time in the race. Try there in second. Simbarox in third. But now Try causing Simbarox a few issues. But he failed into the pit lane. Fair play there to Try. Could have easily caused a bit of carnage. But he's there into the pit lane. Set a soft compound and tires will go on the car. And now frees everyone up for a big old battle. Speaking of big old battles. Max von der Geese to the inside line. On the back of Schumacher. In towards turn one. The RB forces Schumacher there. Off wide. Off line. Job done for the TF10 man. Through and he's into seventh. Yeah, absolutely. Very good move for the F10 man as man like as well. a couple of positions up to sixth place. But as I've mentioned, Harvey trying to make the move on to Nick here off the inside line. Going into turn four, I believe that one is. But it's Nick who stays ahead going into the these technical series of corners. But FRT Harvey doing really well up in four. Slightly bit of an overcut strategy, but has got a lap pressure medium and front rear head and two lap pressure mediums then Finn Bob who's currently leading the race so that could really help him in this race he's trying to fight down 
to regain his P1s he's had for so much, so much of this race. So, very, very good stuff so far for Harvey. Yeah, Trey, by the way, into for a set of medium compound tires. Correct myself on the strategy there. Medium compound tires on the car for the man down in P16. Semba Rock sets his sights on the back of Finn Bob. Not quite closing enough, enough though, into the right hand of there of turn number 14. Flicking it now through the kink of 15. Then into the left hand of turn number 16 once again. Here out on track. Looks as if the front five begin to get away. Man Mike back on the gate. Just need to close in slightly. One mistake from any of these guys really out in front brings them back into play. And Max von der Geese now has to try and set his sights and set the move up on Man Mike running in towards turn one. But the German against the Dutchman tries to hold him off and for now holds him off nearly with a bit of contact there in towards turn number two as well. Finn Bob though leading the way. Simba Rocks in second. Bobbitt's trying to go side by side there through four. Didn't work. And now the Ferrari man, the Team Jazoo man, has got a look on the back of the FRT man of Simba Rocks. Simba Rocks there in second. Harvey there in third. Max Wonder Geese though does go for the move this time. On the back of Man Mike. Absolutely beautiful move. That's why he's in PSGL, PSF1. Max Wonder Geese through and he's into six. Man, man Mike there in seventh. Schumacher there in eighth. Not entirely out of this. Nail and then typical. Have now dropped off this train. It concerns the front eight out on track. Finn Bob, they'll lean the way. Simba Rocks in second, Bobbitt in third. But Max von der Geese, beautiful move from the RB. Absolutely. Harvey also trying to... Boss was is very close between the four of them as Finn Bob increases that gap to five tenths of a second. But Simba Rocks will definitely be trying to cut down that gap. Come this DRS straight, of course, DRS opens halfway down this straight instead of what we usually is at other tracks at the beginning of the straight but Harvey will try and make a move going into these next corners will anyone be trying to make a move into this next corner I think everybody stays behind each other we can see a Red Bull in the background trying to make a move I think that's typical and they'll bleed off and also try, uh, AGK trying to capitalise on that as well but FRT typical and get the move on on now we've got as we can move back to the front we can see a bit of battling between Harvey Nick we can see as well, Ferrari and the Martin side by side as Bobbitt's obviously the outside line and sticks with it. Finn Bob slowing down slightly, possibly helps someone out there, but that outside side turns to the inside for Bobbitt as Bobbitt gets the move done and moves up to second place. Nick also has a little bit of a snap of bones there in the background, but will Harvey be trying to pick up from that as Harvey moves to the inside of Nick here? A little bit of contact between the two drivers as Harvey goes off, but Nick goes through as Nick moves up to fourth place. And Simbrox in third, Bobbitt, really good move up into second place as Simbrox is definitely trying to take back that place with the full laps of this race still yet to go. And that all came, Bobbitt, by the way, from that move on Simbrox, from a mistake from Simbrox coming out of the final corner, ran wide, lost a tenth and a half of a second, Bobbitt tied him up, ran the outside of turn number one, was very audacious. But if anybody can do it, it's that man there. He's there in P2, Simba Box in three, then Nick in fourth, and then Harvey in fifth. Max von der Geese is looking pretty decent right now there in sixth position. Do not count him out, potentially, of a big result. There's now Harvey set to sight on the back of Nick. Nick under pressure, the Frenchman against the Brit, running now down, maybe causing a little bit of caution, nearly carnage there. Halfway down the straight towards 14. Now it's three wide coming out of the, uh, the final couple of corners. Simba Vox tries to go around the outside of all of them, and he does. Simba Vox through into the race lead, and there's contact, and Finn Bob's in the wall. Finn Bob is in the wall, gets caught there with the side of Nick's car. Is there going to be a v late VSC or safety car? He's got right side limb plate damage on the car. That's disastrous for Finn Bob. Schumacher's in the pit lane, getting the speed in pit lane, thinking maybe that might have been the safety car of VSC. He's into the pit lane, though those tyres are absolutely gone off the cliff. Simbarox leads the way now. Bobbitt's in second, Max von der Geese in third. But in the end, three wide, coming out of turn number 14, cause that partly. Simbarox got the move done. Got it cleanly. In the end, I think it was Nick up the inside line of Finn Bob. And in the end, Finn Bob ends up down the field in unlucky for some 13th position. Disastrous for the man of the Brit in, in the kick, Sauber. Brilliant, though, if you Simba Rocks and Bobbitts. Yeah, that will definitely be discussed in the stewards' room after this race. But Max van der Geest did really capitalise from that little bit of a uh, scrap between the drivers as he moves up to the podium positions now for V Cubs, his teammates all the way down in ninth position, but Simbrooks one inherits the race lead, followed by Bobberts, Max van der Heese and Harvey in fourth place. Now going into this long straight here, very good.
but over overtaking up, as I've mentioned, the whole of in the stream. Going down into turn 14 here. Will Max van der Geest be looking to the inside? No, he stays just behind. Roberts will be trying to defend from the ranging Dutchman, but stays just behind here as Roberts still trying to defend. But I'm trying to also make a move on the Simbros, but still, one more DRS straight on this lap going into turn one hit side by side between Roberts and Max van der Geest. Max van der Geest on the outside, and maybe it's not side by side, as the Roberts does stay ahead of Max van der Geest here, but Harvey will definitely be trying to move on Max van der Geest trying to move get the switch back possibly no he doesn't he stays just behind but it's very close between the entirety of the top five there as there's loads of battles still yet to go there's only two racing to go. yep two laps to go after this one Simba Rocks leading the way Bobberton second Max van der Geest though I think is right now in the best seat in the house and at this moment in time is doing a very good job out on track he is on the back as the yellow flag there Finn Bob retires into the pit lane must have had side pod damage off at least big front wing damage on that car left side plate damage completely off the car that's why he's retired in the pit lane so the unfortunate unfortunate likings I think there of Finn Bob having, having a good race gets caught up in one bit of contact and then ends up retiring out of the race very unfortunate for him Simberbox still leading the way Bobberton second Max von der Geese in third then it's Harvey Nick man like ran off the top six is concerned right now the front six max von the geese though coming like an express train around the outside is he gonna go to the inside line he does goes for both of them into all the right hand and now turn number 14 the rb just about in front going into the apex harvey tries to get the switch back right and behind as well and in the end there's four wide four wide coming out of turn number 15 Bobberts leads the way simba rocks in second harvey there in third max von the geese gets a phenomenal run though coming out through the final corner nick all of a sudden involved in this battle as well man like involved in this battle Everyone now going for it. Bobbitt's now escaped up the road slightly. Simbarox in second. Nick there in third. Two by two like Noah's Ark. They filter through the right hand of two. Now to the left hand of turn number three. Bobbitt's lean the way. Nick in second. Simbarox in third. But my god, Dom, this one is not over until the fat lady sings. Yeah, definitely. Max Van Geese also trying to make the move on Harvey here. A little bit of ghosting there. That might just be on Maya. No, Schumacher gets far that on those fresh fresh soft tyres but loads of position switches as Nick moves all the way up to second place and Bobbitt inherits the race lead from that little bit of a squabble between those drivers but very very good battles here as we've still got two laps left to go and loads of overtaking still yet to happen so Bobbitt might not win the race come the checkered flag but still very very close racing between the entire two top six and like we're definitely trying to move up a couple of positions especially with that front wing damage but still Roberts leading the way but I'd assume a few drivers will be moving side by side for example Harvey and Simbrox side by side now I think that's Harvey who inherits third place will he try and make the move onto Nick here no he's just behind but of course it's the exit here that matters here who can get the better exit out of the rest of them well, here we go. The final two of the Shanghai International Circuit about to begin. Bobberts with 59% of ERS leads the way onto the final lap here in China. Nick there in second, 4% more. 4% more than Bobberts right now. Harvey there in third, 16%. Simbarox is the one that's looking good right now. 84% on the car. Schumacher, by the way, the yellow flags in the middle sector might be going for the fastest lap run. Bobbitt still leading the way. Coming through the left hand of turn number four. Through the right hand and now of turn number five. In towards the right hand of turn number six. Bobbitt's looking good at this moment in time. All of this is going to Constantine him up. And all of this is going to be decided down in towards the right hand of 14. Then again through the chicane of the kick of 15. Then in towards the left hand of 16. That is where this race is going to be determined. But Bobbitt's is hanging on for grim life. Trying to save as much battery as possible. Out on track. Nick though, somehow using up a lot less battery and gaining more. 100% full amount of battery on the back of Bobberts. Bobberts is on 87. He wants to try and get that full battery. And makes contact. Nick into the back of Bobberts. Bobberts spins. Coming now through the right hand return number 12. And Nick all of a sudden has a big mistake. Harvey, Simba Rocks is the one might be now to gain 
full advantage from all of this. Nick now leading the way. Down the hill. Running in towards turn number 14 for the final time. Harvey pulls the outer line. Pulls past Nick. Down the straight. Nick going to be swung to all side. The grass running there from Simba Rocks to the inside line. Into the right hand of 14. Absolute chaos and carnage coming through. Who on earth is going to win this? Harvey coming out of top. Oh, there's a three wide collision. Oh Harvey now through the final couple of corners. On the run toward the line. In a dramatic end. Takes the race win. Max von der Geese in second. Man like that in third. Simba Rocks has somehow got a very much escaped from that with a tea tray on the car there in fourth. Nick and Bobbitt's out of the race. Coming through the left hand of 14 and 15. Harvey wins. Max von der Geese in second. Man like in third. But all the talking dumb is going to be done off track. Because what on earth happened there through 14? I've got no clue, to be honest. Three wide going into Just because it was the last one of people wanted to get two uh, most highest positions they can possibly get. But we can watch the podium celebrations here as, as it is. I think Harvey, who won the race, and m gets onto the top step of the podium. Max van der Geest as well, moving up a few positions. And Manlike as well, capitalising from that and getting himself on the podium in his Tier 2 debut after winning the tier 4 championship last season he's definitely got loads of pace for the Aversio team but no clue what's happened there loads of drama to be had on track and loads of incidents to be reported so this might not be how the final results entail and this, this may not be how uh, the standings can't get the words out this may not be how the standings are affected but we could see the uh, I can't speak uh, Harvey wins the race, Max van der Geest in second, Manlike in third, Simbrox one in fourth, Typical in fifth, Nail Guido in sixth, AGK in seventh, Karumi in eighth, Minotaur in ninth, Chris in tenth, Nam in eleventh, Triart, Nick, Bobbert, Schumacher, Finbob and Sam Samuel Barker and Carlitos do not finish this race after loads of drama this race. So tell me James, who is your driver of the day for today's race? My driver of the day, honestly, I think of how that all transpired, has to go to Max von der Geese. I think he was the, the, the cleanest one out of the whole lot. Ended up P2 in the end. Did phenomenally well, I think, to get into the position that he did. So for me, I think Max von der Geese's driver of the day, just on the pure basis that he drove probably the cleanest out of the guys ahead of him out on track and then was finally rewarded with a P2 finish. What about you? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have to agree with you on that one. Max van der Geest, very, very good race for the man. But also Schumacher moving up 10 positions at the start there. Done really well, but it's just the strategy that really didn't do him many favours in retiring from that race, unfortunately. Losing so many positions. Finn Bob also doing really well. But unfortunately retiring after a couple of incidents towards the end of that race. So very, very eventful race that we have just watched for the first round of WR. Yeah, very eventful race indeed. Simberbox complaining about the, the contact model there. Plenty of swearing, I've got to say, in the Discord. Definitely not. Um, to uh, Not to write home about, thank God this wasn't getting streamed live. If you're watching this on playback, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Chris RB saying in the chat as well, uh, to all the kids who dream the impossible, you can do it too. That is how I think we're going to end off. That's very good words there from Chris. I'll be there in the Discord chat. But let's have a look through the calendars very quickly for what is to come for console tier 2 and indeed for all console tiers moving forward. China, of course, done. We moved to the United States Grand Prix uh, at Austin, Texas for round 2 of the championship. Then at Singapore, firm favourite, of course, the Legacy Division calendar in recent seasons there for round 3. Las Vegas for round 4. God help them, I've got to say, go with Las Vegas for round four. Great Britain for <laughs> round number five. Uh, partly on my birthday, partly not on my birthday as well at Silverstone. Uh, Netherlands for round number six, and then it's Hungary round seven before we end up for Christmas break. And then after Christmas, it is Canada, Austria, and Sao Paulo to end off the season as well. Let's have a look at the PC side as well. PC side starting in around about ten days' time. United States Grand Prix being round one of the championship for PC. Then it's Singapore round two. Las Vegas round three, then Great Britain round four, Netherlands round five, Hungary round six, China in the end round seven gets promoted back in the calendar for PC, Canada, Austria and Sao Paulo to come of course for the end of the season there. So exactly the same calendar, 
just on different days their PC. And if you want to tune in for this on Tuesday night, you can do because we enter the second quarter of WR Legacy Division on Tuesday nights. Myself and Jota are going to be taking through the action, of course, this season and throughout the entirety of the season of this 24-round calendar. It is Australia, the map land down under on Guy Fawkes night. Thank God we're going to be seeing some fireworks, I've got to say, out on track in Legacy Division. Then it's China for the second sprint. Then it's Spain, Imola, Azerbaijan for the third sprint. And then Netherlands before we round off, of course, for Christmas on December the 10th for the Dutch Grand Prix. Quickly, though, before we do end off this stream, uh, the United States Grand Prix, round two of the championship. How are we going to see these drivers behave out on track? Because surely something has got to be better than that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Kota has always been a really good for loads of battles, especially with that long stray. So I'd expect to see loads of overtaking. Of course, you might not be there next week, unfortunately. But we will. you will be replaced by Ace, who will, who will be full-time. But um, yeah, loads of battles through there. But loads of unshook. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe a few grudges held after this race onto the next race so stay tuned for that one next week thank you very much for watching today and i hope you, you come back for next week yeah we're gonna round you off of course with our word uh, with, with a word yeah i couldn't even speak now with a word from our sponsors grid finder and next level <laughs> racing we are going to be back with you well i might not be back with you i'll be back with you certainly on tuesday night D dom alongside me in the comments box will be back with you of course on friday for the united states grand prix and console tier two but until then Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Keep well. Please look after yourselves. And we will see you once again next week for Console Tier 2 at the same place. Slightly earlier time of 7pm, of course, out on track. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>